What up, Magic Man Nation? It's your boy, Magic Man Sports, and here we got we that that gameplay with Isaiah Thomas and Mitch Richmond. Itch for Mitch is over, and here we're gonna see how good he is. I was kind of this is my test out game, seeing how good he was, uh, just kind of checking out what his max potential as an offensive player is, and uh, how good he was on defense. And oh my God, he is just as good as he was advertised. Um, I was taking a lot of stupid shots with him like that, but he was hitting him his mid range. I don't think I missed a mid-range jumper with them. Maybe one of like 15 I took or something. It was, it was just ridiculous. I just kept getting a plus release. He's a 99 mid-range. He's like a a, sh a better shooting Abdul Raouf. It was, it was crazy how good he was uh, when he's doing this. As you see here, we're just pulling up, and he is just draining shots off the bat. So I knew this was gonna be a good game, but uh, I'll get back to the gameplay a little bit later. I just want to let just know I'm going to be forcing with Mitch Richmond this game, so don't point out what I shoot with him, what percentages and all that. And uh, yeah, this guy had a just straight dunking team. I just want to apologize. When I ran a team like this, I didn't think it was cheese. I thought, I know you can stop it, but it is just so annoying to face someone who just throws the ball down the court. So unrealistic. Every single time, throw a three-fourths court pass, and he was just dunking on me and doing that. And I just try to run a good plays every time and um i don't know i you'll see if it if i end up beating this guy with my good play style or if he does end up beating me with his little dunk squad but we'll start with why i haven't been posting in the last four days or i don't know i i did the live stream i think saturday and i haven't posted since then monday i couldn't get out a video and then tuesday i left for my college orientation um and uh, the college orientation was Wednesday from 7 a.m. till 9 9 p.m. I think it was. Uh, so it was it was a long day that day. And then then Wednesday or Thursday I wrapped it up with picking my classes. Uh, and and that's another story. And it's uh, in itself. Uh, they they spend less time about telling you how to sign up for classes and and recommending certain school things and more about uh, how to go to all the different events and how to do that you know i know it's college is is supposed to be somewhat fun you like going to all the events but you you need to know how to do the actual college stuff first before you can find out about how how to be doing all these different things and uh they're more worried about you making friends i i can make friends on my own i don't need someone to, to come and like force feed me making friends uh but yeah it was it was a good thing i i finally finished this morning which is uh friday sign up for my classes my schedule was just so messed up i got unlucky and uh oh my god that was a nasty tip slam dunk that's why i love larry <laughs> i think i said robert robert nance or robert something I, I, all i know is i slaughtered his name in my last video but that's why i love him he, he's such a good hustle on the boards um and he's just he's a great dunker and he's probably one of my favorite players to use um and if I ever start like an underrated beast series, he will be my first player to use because this man is such an underrated beast. Uh, for the, for his overall, he, you can get so much bang for your buck with this player. So um, we'll get back moving on the story. So we signed up for classes, uh, met a couple people. I knew a couple people from up there. Um, uh, I just hung out with my brother on uh, that Thursday. Then we just headed back and we're going to be here for the summer and hopefully I'll be posting... Uh, I, I shouldn't have any issues posting, I don't know, every other day or something. I'm not going to make any promises because, you know, uh, when you make promises, you're never going to keep them. But when you just uh, do things every day, you, I'll, I'll come through with them. But uh, what else to talk about? Um, let's let's see. Um, we should, Hopefully, we'll be making the live stream. We'll be, we just live streamed Thursday, and hopefully we'll be making that into a every like sometime weekend so thursday friday saturday or sunday we'll try to live stream every week i think we have so far but i think we missed one or two weeks um but now that i'm back from college orientation i don't really have much to do so uh, hopefully these videos will be coming up and i have a couple a lot of videos i was supposed to line up videos to be uploaded but uh yeah just the internet was 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 not good enough to be uploading what i want to be uploading so that's that and whatever but let's talk a little bit about the nba draft that was last night i know we did a live stream on that and uh and it was a interesting draft to say the least a lot of surprise picks 
a lot of surprise trades. Uh, and go watch our uh, live stream from last night if you didn't watch that. Because we kind of go through a full breakdown. And there was a, I did do 100, like 130, 140k. I wasted all my injured player money. As you see here, we just went on a huge run right here. We just kept hitting threes with Mitch Richmond. I think we went from down nine. And then here we go, coming off the inbound. We see Mitch open again. We let it fly, and he drains it down. That was 12-point swing. A 12-point swing. So down 11 to go up one. But, yeah, Richmond was just unreal at times. He's a very streaky shooter. But if you're taking a lot of mid-range, open mid-ranges like this right here, A+, plus, that's not going to be missed. I, I don't think I've seen him miss an A+. Plus. As you see, we're 38 points already uh, going down to the third quarter. But yeah, so uh, back on topic to the NBA draft. I'm just going to talk about the Bucks in this. I was a little upset when I saw we got Giannis Akinilambim Pupo or whatever his name is. Whatever, the guy from Greece, the 19-year-old. I think the youngest player in the draft. The Bucks have some like fetish of taking the youngest player in the draft. They took Tobias Harris two years ago. Uh, and he actually is going to turn out to be a pretty good player. I wish we kept him and didn't trade for JJ Redick. Another thing I am very upset about. Uh, their John Henson pick looks like it's going to turn out well. Their Larry Sanders pick. So the last couple years of them picking big men, it looks like it's coming out well. So hopefully Giannis, he's an athletic guy. It's just his shooting I'm worried about. We need people who can spread the floor. Um, he's very athletic, and at least he's probably been the only buck that could dunk on someone. But I don't know. He, he, all, his, all he has is highlights of him playing against like the Rec YMCA team or whatever it is. So hopefully he does turn out. I... I tr <laughs> Ever since the usually on Joe Alexander trade or not trade the draft, I have a little bit more confident. Uh, I trust that I. Oh my God! As LeBron just like goes super dolphin like die from Black Ops right there. I don't know. I don't understand their hustle thing because you'll just make ridiculous plays when the, the clearly the person who's closer to the ball should have been uh, on that. But as you see, we're running plays and we are not gonna out cheese the cheeser. And uh, he's still leaving him open, and Mitch Richmond is just banging him home. But yeah, the Bucks. Hopefully, they made a good pick. They got Nate Walters. I think he's gonna be a good backup. Nothing special, but uh, I I think he's a great pick. They just have to figure out what they want to do with Brandon Jennings. I say sign and trade. Try to get a pick for 2014, just like the 76ers are gonna be taking. As you see, oh my God, Larry Nance tip slamming. I think he threw the inbounds, and then. He came and he just tip slammed at home. But yeah, this guy is just too nice. And uh, hopefully everything works out for the Bucks. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Celtics fans, they're disappointed. 76ers fans, disappointed. But uh, it's going to be a uh, race for tanking for Wiggins. So <laughs> hopefully that draft class works out so those teams can get back up. Uh, the association, I'm not sure when I'm going to be starting that. Maybe Saturday or Sunday because I still have to get the people in it. I have, I think, like 15 to 20 people right now. Uh, I haven't really responded to anyone requests, so I'll, I'll have to go back through my messages and invite people. As you see, 56 points with Mitch Richmond, 23-41, over 50%, um, around, what, 33% from three. It was a good game for Mitch Richmond. As you see here, he basically dominated in every single category except for shooting percentage. Um, and, and he just kept fouling me too. Um, but that, that was a, that was a good game with Mitch Richmond. I did have a more efficient game with Mitch Richmond coming out, but I'll see you guys next time. I don't know when my, my next video should be out tomorrow. See you guys later. Now you see me. Now you don't.